Hello everybody and welcome back to my story. Today I wanted to talk about another type of sub scam. I didn't end up finding anything really substantial for 539 Productions so I figured I'd talk about this instead and then head back out on the road again tomorrow. So I figured we'd talk about this thing that I call a bait and switch sub. So let me pose another scenario to you. You log on to your account one of these days and whether it's your Twitter account, your Instagram account, or your YouTube channel, you notice that somebody new has followed you and they have a ton of followers. And again, it looks really, really cool. Uh, you're really happy and it seems almost too good to be true. And it is. Uh, I call these uh, bait and switch subscribers and uh, one of the easiest ways to notice if they're a bait and switch subscriber is when you visit their profile you'll notice that they are also following a lot of people but not as many as the followers that they have so they'll have maybe let's say 20,000 subscribers 20,000 followers whatever it may be called on the particular uh, social media service that you're using and they'll probably be following something like 5,000 or 6,000 accounts and it seemingly feels really good because uh, they're not following very many people and uh, you're one of them but uh, here's the trick um, they're gonna follow your account they're gonna like a photo they're gonna like a video uh, and then they're never going to uh, interact with your channel again and in fact in a few days time they're going to unsubscribe furthering this uh, scam that they've created keeping the amount of channels or other accounts that they're subscribed to low but their subscribers high because most of the people that uh, see this initial follow and uh, get this initial bit of uh, excitement and joy out of uh, seeing this new person follow them are never gonna check in you know in uh, three days four days or a week uh, To see if they're still actually following them. So secretly over this period they'll uh, Unfollow and then they'll have the benefit of one of these bigger accounts that have Lots of followers, but yet are following very few people and so it ends up making them look incredibly famous incredibly popular but in reality, it's all just a very clever system of following and then unfollowing after a little while. And a lot of times uh, you'll also notice on these people's profiles that uh, the uh, content that they're putting out is really, uh, not that it's necessarily bad, but it's not popular. No one's really interacting with them and no one's really uh, caring about any of the tweets or uh, posts that they put out there uh, because uh, again they just kind of go out there and make it look like uh, they like people and then when they never uh, interact with them again these people slowly lose interest so it sort of creates this weird situation where this person has an incredibly large amount of followers but almost no interaction whatsoever and again the, the person isn't really uh, interested in your content at all they're just looking to bolster their own numbers and uh, in, in doing so they're actually screwing themselves over because in the end uh, to a lot of the new algorithms like on YouTube uh, this is making them look incredibly unpopular because they have so many subscribers that just don't care about any of uh, their content that they're putting out but it's definitely something to look out for because again uh, when you're trying to become a content creator when you're trying to uh, grow your channel or grow your social media account uh, wasting any time on people like that or that are just going to trick you into following them and then just unsubscribe so that their numbers look better um, it's again it's, it's a waste of time to deal with uh, accounts and people like that and it's not making your numbers look better anyway it's actually better to have less subscribers and people that truly care about what you're doing 
So anyway, uh, thanks again for tuning in everybody. Uh, there will be a road episode tomorrow for sure as long as it doesn't like end up raining really hard, uh, snowing really hard uh, and making it impossible to go out. I'm gonna be definitely out on the road all day and uh, getting some cool locations in. I already got a few places in mind and hopefully a direction in mind uh, to head out in the morning. So looking forward to see you all, seeing you all again tomorrow and have a great weekend everybody. Oh.